Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As you guys can see, we have the cards ready. So let's get right into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of April, 2020. Wow. We're starting off the month with the death card. A lot of transformations happening. Transformation, transmutation. Uh, changes are on the horizon for you. Now, we also have here the obstacle, the Eight of Swords. So for some of you guys, there could be a refusal of acceptance of some type of ending. For some of you guys, it could be relationship connected. Uh, for others of you, it could just be circumstantial. Um, there's definitely something that you're refusing to accept and you're trying to either hold on to that situation or to a specific person um, out of fear more than anything Taurus now your past and passing is the queen of wands some of you guys may have been dealing with in fire energy Leo Sagittarius Aries for others a Scorpio energy and uh, for some it could be an Aquarius as well now with the queen of wands there could have been a situation um, where perhaps you were dealing with uh, some type of decisions that had to be made. Perhaps you've already made up those decisions um, that could have a lot to do with. I feel that for some of you guys, it could be the fear of taking on life in general um, on your own or feeling like you're going to be on your own. It could be that perhaps some of you guys, you've been in a long term committed relationship and for some, it could be that there is an under or a deeper understanding that this relationship is no longer working, um, but you're still refusing to either walk away or refusing to start over uh, away from that person or that partner because there's fear and there is attachment issues. So it could be the fear of just not knowing what's to come. For others of you, it could just be the fear of change itself because the devil, uh, not the devil, sorry, the death card is here. But what spirit is telling you here with the star card, um, follow your path, Taurus. Follow your, your path, follow your intuition. Um, it, it's almost like the planet alignments are aligning and bringing to you an, a new awakening, a new understanding, a deeper understanding of where you should be or where your life uh, is taking you. It's almost like what they're telling you is take a leap of faith. Leave whatever is no longer working for you or walk away from feeling like you're very dissatisfied with life. And even if it comes at the cost of walking away from what you've thought of as a structure, uh, so this could be your home. This could be for those of you guys that are married. It could be a marriage that perhaps you know has come to an end, but you're still not wanting to make the move out of fear. And with the star card, it's like being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it also signifies destiny. It signifies um, a grander awareness or an understanding that, you know what, this is not working out and I don't feel happy, I don't feel fulfilled. And it's like you're becoming more in tune with your desires, with what you want for your life. Um, so that's a very, very definitely momentous energy for you guys for this month. Now, your next card here is the three of pentacles, sorry, the five of pentacles. So for some of you guys, it could just be the fear of ending a relationship because you feel that at some point it's going to cost you or it's going to affect your finances or it's going to affect a family dynamic. The fives usually indicate an inner struggle uh, with the pentacles. It could be the fear of not having enough or the fear of lack of money or stability. But you do have the wheel here, Taurus. What is there to worry? It's like the universe is telling you the moment you decide you're ready and you're going to embark in this new beginning, in this new phase of your life with the star card and the wheel, it's like destiny is being able to flow organically the way it was supposed to. And not only that, but everything is aligning 
to the point of being able to have a complete transformation. And for some of you guys, the, tra uh, the complete transformation can come from uh, having a different perspective on life, feeling more intensely passionate about life. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you've been in this darkness of cloud of unhappiness and opening yourself up to new to new opportunities to new living life in a very different in a very different way and this is going to bring you as well your soul's purpose now the advice card here is the two of cups the two of cups symbolizes love for some of you guys you guys have sacrificed your happiness or uh, being with a person that you love or even you know, being able to say I am happily in, in a relationship because it's based off of love instead of circumstances. And this is your advice card. So with the two of cups, it's also about self-love, Taurus. It's not just about relationships. It's about having that self-love within yourself. Loving yourself enough to be capable of loving someone else and receiving that reciprocation of love. So what Spirit is telling you guys is now is the time to do those changes, Taurus. Even if it's scary, even if you don't know what's to come or there is fear of not being able to have enough or not being able to provide or not being able to uh, be able to move on financially without the partner, without what you've considered up until now a source of stability. But it's come at a cost of happiness. It's come at a cost of, you know, being able to be inspired by life in general. And with the two of cups and the wheel, you're aligning yourself to, to choose or to be to have the strength to choose your happiness. And it not be sacrificed because you're trying to complement or you're trying to make life easier for those around you. Now, the energies of the person that is generally around you or that is connected to you uh, or the person of your interest is the Ace of Wands. So there is definitely a new connection that is coming in for you, Taurus. Um, with the Two of Cups and the Wheel and the Star, I feel that Spirit is telling you that finally, once you take this, once you take this step towards a new beginning, and embracing endings. That's when you're aligning your soul's purpose. You're aligning yourself to what your path should be. And that's when this new person comes in. I feel this is new energy for you guys. For some of you guys, you could have met this person already. For some of you, you may actually be wanting to come out of this relationship because you've found a deeper connection. But it's like destiny, it's put you or will put you or bring you guys together on the same path. And it's destiny here with the wheel and the star and the two of cups, genuine love, genuine interest in each other. The, the, you know, the sparks flying. Now you have the queen of cups here. Queen of cups could represent water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, for others of you, it could represent a female that has something to do with this past experience or past relationship. Could be your present, but it's the person that you're thinking of walking away from. Um, and it could be both male or female. It does not matter. It's a general reading. But with the Queen of Cups, this person, even if they've said that they are no longer in the picture, they're coming up in your reading, Taurus. So this is signifying hopes and fears. So it could be the fear, perhaps you're feeling, you're intuitively picking up on the fact that perhaps they're not being completely honest. They're deceiving you or perhaps they're still dealing with this person. For others of you, it could be a water energy that's coming in. Ultimately, what they're telling you here is if you've been having this feeling that you cannot explain something just in you that 
it's making you very nervous because you feel like there's change around the corner. You don't know when, you don't know why, you don't know exactly what's going on, but there is this intuitive feeling. That spirit letting you know what's to come and what's unfolding. And what they're telling you is, take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. Have hope. And your final card here is the lover's card tour as well. So I definitely do see new love for a lot of you guys. Um, and this is predestined connection. It could be a soul connection. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be... Um, It could be a new relationship that's forming. So you may actually be dealing with this person. Uh, but I feel that it's rather new type of energy. What they're saying in here is you are getting to the point of having to make a decision. And that decision, whatever it is that you decide, should you embrace the new beginning or should you be tied down to that of the past, is going to unfold not just for April, but for the coming months. Um in regards to this stressful situation or feeling stressful or feeling anxious or feeling tied and bound like you can't move forward. So ultimately what they're telling you is there's really nothing holding you back. It's more in your head and out of the fear that you don't know what's ahead or that there's no certainty. Um, and that's why you're refusing to move or you're refusing to make a decision. But what Spirit is telling you is, again, take a leap of faith. Have faith and don't be afraid to take on new opportunities, Taurus, because this could be your true happiness. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.